Hey there, YouTube. Sean here, aka That Nerd Kid Ugly. Welcome back. If it's your first time, welcome to my channel. So it was the anniversary of the wife and I. We decided to go to Williamsport for a date night. And while there, we stopped at Roscoe's Brew House. Um, I haven't been open very long. June and July, I want to say they opened up. So they've been open about half a year or so. Um, solid lineup. They have a little bit of everything. Uh, cold IPA, Porter, Stout. They had a wheat beer on when I was there. Um, an English style bitter. All like traditional style beer. Um, they haven't done any hazies or anything that, like that yet. But they're doing the, the traditional lineups. And, I'm, and I like that. I like finding a brewery that can do the traditional styles without having to throw the hazies in there. And I felt like just your small town brewery, I want to say. So they had a little Super Nintendo, I want to say emulator, but those came out a few years ago. It was like a little itty bitty baby Super Nintendo with a bunch of games on it. So we sat and played some 90s games. Um, and I did a fight and we had a soft pencil. And I meant to get this one in my flight, but the bartender there misheard me. And I ended up getting their wheat beer instead, which was a cherry wheat. It was either cherry or raspberry wheat. I do not remember. But this is their something different. Now it's time for something different. I think it's what it's called. Their English style better. Coming in at 4.5% alcohol. Um, and while I was there, I got myself a new, while well, we were there, got myself a new glass. So, popper glass, time to get into this. Williamsport, if you don't pay attention to it, is really becoming a beer destination. Um, I mean, you got the infamous new trail that everybody knows of. Man, I miss Growlers for the glass and being a collectibles guy. But I have to say, Crowlers is where it's at. If you're going to bring it home. Ooh, that smells fantastic. If you're going to bring it home from the brewery. Because, I mean, the Growlers are so much to drink. And if it's just you by yourself, it is, it's almost too much to drink. But look at that. Pours a orangish red amber. Very copper. Absolutely. Yeah, very copper. The head is about a two finger. Just tan. Right over the right over the white tan. Nice and thick. Little bubbles up on top. Just and I, I this is a perfect glass for this style too. So just looking fantastic. Like check out that head on that. Mmm. Biscuity malt, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of fruity coming off of it. So you get that nice, bitter biscuity malt. Definitely smells like an English bitter. It's one of my favorite styles, except for, especially for like the winter time. Smooth, light. Mm. That biscuity malt comes through really strong. Comes on really light. Almost tiny bit of flavor and then it really... The back end comes in with that biscuity, crackety malt. Light amount of bitter... Or, yeah. light sweet amount um, it has some sweetness but I can't place what it is must be the hops they used but 
yeah, you definitely get that biscuity. A little warming, not overpowering. 4.5 is, you know, to be expected. But I'm really enjoying what these guys are doing. I wish I would get down there sooner. Um, the wife liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. It's just this old renovated two-story house. As soon as you walk in, the brewery is right there to your right. So you can see in, see the brew house and everything. And then you walk into the tap room. And it's a decent sized tap room for, you know, being in an old house. And that's all it is so far. I think they do have a nice outside patio, but when we went, it was raining and snowing. So. I want to say almost like a plum. I don't, maybe not plum. I'm getting more of like the, the grape lingon in that like fig type family for the sweetness that you get off of this. So, hmm. Because on tap, this has something about apricot. Maybe? I can't, really can't tell. I'll be honest. I haven't. I only apricot I've had is but in beers, so I'm getting more dark fruit off of it. Mixed with that malty biscuit. This would be good on a cask. This this would be a real good beer on a cask. Um could you get that more smoothness that I think would really help bring the flavors out on this. Alright, if you're in Wallen Sport. Williamsport, Pennsylvania. I mean, it's, like I said, it's becoming a beer town. You have Roscoe's Brew House, I bet you know what to. You have Ripstein's, you have New Trail, you have Bullfrog, you have Therapy right down the road, um, Boom City, John Ryan. So, Williamsport's really becoming a beer destination. Plus, Pentex there now has a brewing. I apologize. Pentex there now has a brewing course class that you can do, which I've personally thought about looking into, honestly. But so I think that's going to pull even more people to the city. It, it's just becoming a mecca for beer, and it's it's fantastic. Um, if you're a beer head, definitely make it like a weekend destination. Like I said, you have New Trail, which if you're in Pennsylvania, that alone, you already know of New Trail. Bullfrog is one of the, I think, 94. So it's been around one of the longest in the brew pub game. Um, Boom City does good work, too. I've tried them. John Ryan, I haven't had a chance to try yet. Ripstein is fantastic. Fantastic food. Fantastic beer. So if you're looking for a beer trip, Williamsport, Pennsylvania is, is where you need to go. I said therapies right outside. I haven't hit them up yet. I've only heard fantastic things. Again, if you're looking for a beer destination, oh yeah, that's all right. I kind of got the apricot right there. So I think as it warms up, you're gonna get that fruit a lot more. So, like I said, I just popped this open. Really gonna get into it, but I am enjoying this. Like I said, it'd be good on a cask, a decent pull of this. Would be fantastic. Um, thank you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.